Hey guys, my name is KSpeedy, and welcome back to our overpowered Crystal Palace career mode. Today we're going to be doing another mega simulation so that we can acceler accelerate, god, accelerate this series a little bit faster. So our first action of the episode is going to be simulating the entire month of January, and then playing this game up against Real Madrid is the first leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League, and then playing the Manchester United game there, playing the Chelsea game there, and then playing this Man uh, Real Madrid game here, and then simulating this game up against Liverpool, and then by that time, we will be in April, which is a pretty easy month, and then we will be at the end of the season in about two episodes, or even maybe an episode. So, let's get right into it. Now, obviously, we don't need to sign any players, as we do have the greatest team in the entire world, so let's just get through the simulation. Alright, so the simulation has just stopped. Let's see what the results are, and hopefully they won't be as bad as the last episode. So, 1-1 one, one draw against West Ham, that's already off to a bad start. Win against Stoke, win against West Brom, 0-0 nil, nil draw against Arsenal. Okay, that's not terrible. It's not great either. Win versus Burnley, win versus West Brom, win versus Burnley, and win versus Southampton. So we didn't lose a game this month, that is very good. There is some definite bad news. Man O'Neill is going to be out for the, about the next month and one week. As he has picked up a broken met metatarsal. Yeah, that one. And all of a sudden, a cup game against Manchester City in the Emirates FA Cup has popped up. So I'm just going to simulate past that since uh, that's not of any importance. So we lost against Manchester City. I'm going to be fine with losing uh, for the next few games because as we do only have a... 74 rated goalkeeper in between the sticks in bylaw so hopefully Neuer can get back here soon and we can resume dominating so now we have the first leg of the Champions League up against Real Madrid let's get into it all right so this is our lineup coming up up coming up up oh my god I can't speak today coming up against Real Madrid in the Champions League round of 16 stage so it's a very different team today. We have Mbappe, Ronaldo, and Messi starting up top. Then we have Patrick Kluivert's younger son playing right uh, right mid, and then Neymar playing left mid. Conte and De Bruyne in midfield, and then Alvarez, Godin, and Lato in our defense, and then Bailo in between the sticks. And kickoff in Madrid. Okay, let's try getting a shot on goal here. We've been cycling the ball very well. Mbappe, De Bruyne, that one is blocked away, and now we have a corner kick here, Messi to swing this in, and that one is headed away, we've taken a lot of Real Madrid's players, so we should be getting a win here, and as I say that, we give away a bad ball, but then Ronaldo takes it back, Ronaldo against his former team, there it is, 1-0, finesse shot, Ronaldo has been our best player this series by far, I think that's his 16th goal, and it looked like he was going to go celebrate with his teammates. No, he does his classic celebration. And we are 1-0 to the good, overpowered Crystal Palace. Are in the front running against the mighty giants of Real Madrid. And look at this. He takes the ball off of him, finesses it into the top corner. No chance for Kaylor Navas. And now that is his fifth goal in the Champions League. Ronaldo scores again. And 2-0 to Crystal Palace now. The goal kind of caught me off guard because I was going to just try to have a hit and hope and see what came from it. And apparently is a, maybe it was a little bit lucky. Maybe it was a, uh, probably a lot of bit of skill, obviously, he's Ronaldo. So maybe a little bit of both. Look at that. Taken off by, I believe that was Mbappe. Ronaldo shoots, and that one goes into the other top corner. So now Ronaldo has two goals in one for each top corner. That's his sixth Champions League goal. We're going to be able to bring on our subs now. We have Vitinho, Mawasa, and Alenia coming on. Remember, Mawasa actually did really, really good for us in a previous episode. Uh, it was one of the earlier episodes, even though we are still very early in the series. And Navas misses that punch. And no Crystal Palace players can capitalize on that one. And Conte, just doing what Conte does, really, is Vitinho. One for the future. And just to hold off his fellow Brazilian, Marcelo. And now he can drive that line and get across. And that's a good cross from Mawasa right to Navas. Here 
There's a good chance Patino gets the not over Clivert. Kind of gets shoved around there. Conte out wide to Mawasa. Gonna give that one off back to Clivert. Oh, okay. That was kind of meant to be a cross. What's happening? And it eventually ends up in Navas's arms. I don't know what just happened. Clivert. Ah, oh, no, Clivert loses out on it. Now Real Madrid had one last chance. Marvel Hall is going to give it to Casemiro, and I missed the tackle. Didn't miss that one, though. Now Clivert played up to Vitinho. Vitinho looked for Mbappe. No, that was not a good pass. Almost got it back there. And, yeah, this will be the end of the game. One less attack. Here comes Marco Asensio into the box. And Bilo has managed to keep a clean sheet. There you go. Okay, now he has our goalkeeper who is almost 20 ratings worse. He's 18 ratings worse than our goalkeeper, uh, Manuel Neuer. Why is the ball floating in the background? Okay, that was a little bit weird. Uh, has they actually managed to keep a clean sheet against Real Madrid, although he did have one of the, one of the better defenses in the world in front of him. Also, let's not forget, obviously, that Cristiano Ronaldo got a brace. Both of his goals were the reason that we won that game, so let's go. Alright, guys, so now we have this West Ham game here, and our schedule is all screwed up because we have this Manchester United game, a Spurs game, and then a Chelsea game, and then we have this game. So, we got a game added, or no, we just swapped around some games, actually, scheduling and all that, so... No, I don't know what to do. We're going to play this game, and this game, and this game, I think. And then we'll just simulate that game, and this game. I think, yeah, it's the same plan as before. Alright, guys, so just as a quick recap for the month. 2-1-1 versus Newcastle, 2-1-1 versus Everton, loss versus Manchester City, win versus Real Madrid, and then a win versus West Ham. So now we are on to our last three played games of the episode. Manchester United, Chelsea, and the second leg of the round of 16 against... Real Madrid in the Champions League, and then a simmed game up against Spurs, and a simmed game up against Liverpool. Alright guys, so we have good news and bad news. The good news is Manuel Neuer is back. The, the bad news is, is that Bonucci is going to be out for the next week with a hyper-extended knee injury. Alright guys, so here's our starting lineup against Manchester United. We have Suarez, Ronaldo, Messi up top, Phil and Neymar, who has gone up by one out on the wings. He is now our second best player in the team next to Messi. And Ronaldo's actually gone down by two, so he's now 92 we have Cruz and De Bruyne in midfield. Then we have Chiellini, Godin, and Saar uh, on the defensive side. And then Neuer in between the six. Also, something that I forgot, and I don't know if I just didn't see this or something, and I failed to mention, is that Bonucci and Ramos are injured. I didn't know that Sergio Ramos got injured. I don't know how long he's going to be out for. But, uh, oh well. And also, one of our lone players returned, Anderson. He is just really, really bad, so we're not going to be using him. We take off at Selhurst Park with Crystal Palace against Manchester United. Let's see what kind of game this is going to be. I'm predicting a win, obviously. The only thing that we're not full strength in is our right center back. But we do have a pretty solid replacement in the Malang Sar, so we should be fine in that department. Here we go. A little shuffle there. Suarez! Oh, what a save by David De Gea there. And as you saw there, Manchester United have signed Florenzi, I, I presume, for the right back position. There's Godin and Neymar trying to get in against Devin De Gea, but it's still uh, pretty comfortable for him in the end. We've shut them down offensively so far in this game. Now we just need to get our first goal. There's Neymar, Cruz, back up to Neymar. Look at that dribbling. Look at that skill. Neymar, ah, I tried to shoot, but it wouldn't release. We made it 1-0, and it's through Luis Suarez, and it's Lionel Messi getting the assist here. Look at that. Cuts in on Eric by and just a very calm, cool finish by Luis Suarez. 1-0 to Crystal Palace, and how many goals does he have on the season? He has six, so not too bad for Luis Suarez. Yes, good pass, De Bruyne, Cruz. Suarez, Suarez, play it back to Cruz. Uh, nobody's opening up. Go wide. Gareth Bale. No, he gets tackled. And.
and he's down. So we now have to bring off Gareth Bale for potential injury. I think he is injured for Alexis Sanchez. Manchester United with the free kick now with Paul Pogba. And one Mata standing over it, and the ball has also gone over. And on our final two seconds now, Neymar and Cruz are coming up, and Conte and Dybala are coming on. Here's Ronaldo. Played out wide, yes. The ball, Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez comes back. Played off Suarez. Oh, that's a great ball. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, I tried to beg them to hey, I probably shouldn't have done that. He's not Ederson. He's better than Ederson. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Look at Manchester United is now bringing on Marcus Rashford. That is good play. By Bala. Sanchez off the crossbar. There it is. The full time whistle. 1 0 win against Manchester United. Probably should have been more. You were denied by the crossbar once. And yeah, it's still a win in the end of the day. So. Now we are on to Chelsea, but not before we simulate the game up against Spurs. And now we've been taken over on points by Manchester City in the Premier League table. They have one more draw than us, and they also have a game in hand, so that explains it. You know what, Ederson, we're coming for your nuts again. Alright guys, so we simulated this game up against Spurs, and we did get that 1-0 win, and as you can see, our Chelsea game has been moved a freaking again. So now, we have to play this game, then this game, and then simulate this game. Let's just go. Let's go beat Real Madrid again. Alright guys, so going into our second leg against Real Madrid in this round of 16 in the Champions League, we have Suarez, Ronaldo, and Messi starting up top, Bale, and Neymar out on the wings, and then Cruz and De Bruyne in midfield, Bonucci, Godin at center back as Sergio Ramos is still injured, Chiellini is going to be our captain for the day, and Manuel Neuer in between sticks. Take off at Selhurst Park for this second leg against Real Madrid. And technically, we could just play out a 0 0 draw here and go through because we are 2 0 up with two away goals, mind you, on aggregate. So we would need to lose this game 2 0 or be trailing in this game 2 0 for Real Madrid to actually have Kansas City this overtime. Already have a good chance. That's a great ball. Bale! And it's knocked in by Luis Suarez, but he is unfortunately offside. I don't think Suarez intended to do that. I think he was just at the right place at the right time. Look at this fantastic ball from Ronaldo. And yeah, as you can see there, he is slightly offside. But I think that was going to go in if Suarez wasn't being an idiot trying to steal his goal. Here, Bale turns Marcelo inside out. And another good cross. And Ronaldo. Oh, no, that's not Ronaldo. That is indeed not Ronaldo, that is Neymar getting onto the end of that. What a ball from Gareth Bale. That is next level, to be fair. He wasn't injured, he'd be doing that all the time. Kaelin and Athos probably could have done a little bit better than that. But as a powerful header by Neymar, who gets his first goal in the Champions League. Alright, a little bit before halftime. What can we do here? Bruyne's going to whip the ball to the Oh my god, our cross is just on point this game. Our crosses have been so good this game, but this time Navas is able to make the save on Neymar. And to be fair, it was a volley. Ah, uh, that might have been going wide initially, so we just got a corner out of it. Bonucci's rising, and that's probably going to be half time in about a few seconds. Yep, there it is. Real Madrid have actually clawed one back. And it's through a cross, so you know what, I think, I don't know if it's just us, or if it's Real Madrid too, that have been, you know what, <laughs> maybe crosses are just OP in this career mode, because cross put in, Metal Neuer comes for it, I think he was going to go for, to punch it, and he never actually did punch it, and uh, yeah, it's 1-1, but it doesn't matter, because we are still two goals up. Here come Real Madrid. Meyer quick off his line, bringing on our sub very shortly here. Neymar play the ball through. Here's Luis Suarez. Get ahead of him, Luis Suarez. Go! Oh, he got out-muscled. Still didn't lose it. Now we lost it, but we do get a free kick out of it. And our three subs coming on are Conte, Mbappe, and uh, Dybala. Or, uh, Sanchez, not Dybala. But you know what? I have a little bit of a 
strategy for this one. We're gonna get Nodo on the free kick. We're gonna get our two other players, a second kick taker and a third kick taker. We have Cruz pop it up, then Bale shoots in, Nava saves. That's the free kick tactic I always love to do, because usually you either score a banger or the goalie makes a really good save, and that time it was the latter. And I think the Bruyne can get there. Nope, throw in. It's going to be our throw. Sanchez back to the Bruyne. And Ronaldo's offside. Great. Uh oh. We are in a little bit of trouble as Cristo. According to the name on the back of his jersey, he's just got a second goal. And now if they get one more goal, then they will be going through and we will not. Take a look here. Just a boo-boo off of a corner, <laughs> really. Ronaldo just chesting it down, putting it right to Cristo. And it's Cristo Gonzalez. I've never heard of him, but he has two goals against us. We need to defend for our lives now. Sanchez, way down there, come on Ronaldo, yes Ronaldo, yes Ronaldo, yes Ronaldo, there we go, that seals it, we are off to the Champions League quarterfinals, Ronaldo gets yet another goal this episode, and you know what, he's really, he's really just tanked it for us so far, this series, uh, take another look at this on the replay, let's see Sanchez linking up with Ronaldo, Kind of like misses it, uh, misses his first touch. And then he regains his footing and blasts it past his former goalkeeper, Kaylor Navas. And that is his seventh goal for the Champions League this year. Almost full time. And we cruise. Back to him, Navas with the save. And that first time shot from Tony Cruz. So now we can just put this ball into the box and that will pretty much be the game. Now Voss with the catch. And as soon as he punches this away, that's going to be full time. And he doesn't even get to punt it. We go through to the Champions League quarterfinals. 4 2 on aggregate against the mighty Real Madrid. We have stolen quite a few players off of, mind you. Alright, guys, so our final play game of the episode, we're going to be playing. Luis Suarez, Ronaldo, and Messi up top, Bale, and Neymar out on the wings, and then Dybala coming in for a start at center mid along with De Bruyne, and Bonucci, Godin still playing at center back, and Sergio Ramos is still injured, then Chiellini at center backs, and then Meno Neuer in between the sticks. Alright guys, here we go at Stanford Bridge against Chelsea. We're going to see what we can do to this team. Oh my god, are you serious? Morata is already through. Morata... Oh my god, I thought he scored. I actually thought he scored on his, like, first touches of the game. I'm trying to chip Neuer, which is not a bad idea. And he just put it over. And look at Conte's reaction. That says a lot. And remember when Morata tried to chip Neuer and he failed? Yeah, he didn't stop. He kind of just scored. I don't know what Neuer's doing there. He really should be saving that. And instead, we are now 1-0 down. Alvaro Monorata with only his third goal this season. Oh my god. What was that ball? What was that ball? Oh my god. That was so bad. That was supposed to be like a through ball to Suarez, and it just completely backfired. Alright, after the ball goes out, we're good. Our three subs on. Conte, uh, Cruz, and Alexi Sanchez. All are going to be coming on. Oh, that's a great ball. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. It's the crossbar, I think. And uh, it went out. So Dybala, De Bruyne, and Bale coming off. And then Sanchez, Kante, Kante and Cruz are coming off. Come on. I don't have much time. Uh, play Alexi Sanchez. We need our big players to turn up right now, which is kind of all of our players. Oh, Ronaldo, no. 20 minutes left. We need an equalizer. There we go. Nice find. Lay it out wide. Sanchez, Suarez. Suarez cut back. Nice. Oh, that's a great play. Yago Godin is off. I am, a, I am on all-out attack right now. That could be costly, because here comes William. Here's Morata. Good tackle by N'Golo Conte. 
and that ball was not of any kind of high quality. And now, all right, good mental Meyer. I will make the save. We need to go. Messi has it up to Diego Godin. Godin plays it into Suarez. Suarez has a history with David Luiz. Gets past him. Still, Neymar. Neymar. Off to block Ronaldo. Oh, dang. Come on, Suarez. Come on, guys. Come on, what was that ball? Come on, keep pressuring. Keep pressuring. No. No. Oh, my God. We actually lost to Chelsea. We actually lost. Are you kidding me? I'm putting that all down so that I'm bad at the game. Because there's no way we should be losing with this team. Oh, my God. There's no way. Our defensive performance was abysmal. When we did lose to Chelsea 1-0, we kind of got dominated the entire game. But we annihilated them on possession and on pass accuracy. You know what? Uh, I'm disappointed with that performance. I really am. Alright guys, for our final action on the episode, we're just going to simulate this game up against Liverpool. Let's get this done and over with, and we're going to be playing Hanover 96 in the Champions League quarterfinal stage. So that should be easy. Let's just simulate past this game. And... Okay, we end on a high note. 4-1 win against Liverpool. We are still in the title race. We are one point behind Manchester City right now. So, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. If you did enjoy this episode of our Overpowered Crystal Palace career mode, make sure to leave a like on this video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.